wonderful. Oh my god, I melted that kid. So, I've lived in my van for just about a year and a half, and I never have a plan. And honestly, that's one of my favorite parts about living in a van. Because in a way, it makes every day an adventure. It's just that some adventures are uh, a little bit more fun than others. So one thing I didn't think about before moving into my van was how much windshield washer fluid I was going to go through. Because since I'm driving around so much, my windshield is always dirty, so I'm always clicking it on to clean it off. And it only lasts me like two weeks, which is like crazy. But it's not that big of a deal because at least windshield wiper fluid is uh, is cheap, unlike gas. Man, that shower felt, dang. Van is so dirty. That's disgusting. All right, so when I was walking out of the Planet Fitness, I noticed how disgustingly dirty the van was. So I think I'm gonna go find a car wash and give the van a nice wash as well today. Fun fact, I've actually never washed the van before. This is the first time in almost a year. So I'm excited to see what it looks like without this thick layer of grime on it. All right, and there we go. She is nice and shiny clean. She has never looked so good in her entire life. So I'd actually never been to one of these um, do-it-yourself car washes before, but that was pretty awesome. So many different features. I thought it was just a pressure washer and a soap wand. I didn't know they had like shine, tire cleaner, all that stuff you could use to clean your car. So that was a nice surprise. But now that she's all nice and clean, I gotta find a campsite for tonight. I have absolutely no idea where I'm gonna stay. So I'm gonna pull up my maps and see if we can find somewhere nearby. All right, so I found a place just south of Eugene, Oregon at a, a truck stop. And I'm kind of okay with parking at a truck stop tonight because tomorrow we're going to Crater Lake. So it's just kind of an in-between spot to park for the night. So I'm gonna head over there, but it's like an hour away. So I will catch you guys once I get a little bit closer. <laughs> All right, so we made it here. We're at the truck stop. It's not the nicest truck stop I've ever stayed at. It's actually kind of one of the worst, but there's a bunch of food around the area and I'm pretty hungry, so I'm gonna go get some dinner. All right, so McDonald's definitely got me with one of the deals. I wanted to get just a uh, double quarter pounder, no pickles, no onions with bacon, but I ended up getting that and then also two 10 piece chicken nuggets because they had buy one, get one for $1. So it was like five bucks for two of these. So I couldn't pass up on that. So I've been living in the back of my van for just about a year and a half now. And for 90% of that time, I haven't had a plan. I've had a general idea for where I wanted to go and where I wanted to be on a given date, but I didn't know where I was gonna sleep until the night of, I didn't know where I was going until the day of, and it just gets really stressful at times, constantly having to find places and not knowing where you're gonna be the next day. And, and I've kind of come to realize that that's just not sustainable for the long run. I can't just keep making decisions on a whim, where I'm gonna go, places I'm gonna stay, because then I end up in places like this. And it kind of makes me feel like I have absolutely no structure in my life, even more so than I already don't because I live in a van, but not having a 
plan for where I'm staying or where I'm going on top of that just makes it feel 10 times worse. And I think that translates over to like regular life as well when you don't live in a van. Just having a plan makes your life so much easier because you know where you need to go, you know what you need to do. And there's not so much that's just up in the air that you need to figure out on the fly so it can relieve a lot of that stress. But then again, you also have to have some freedom to kind of pivot and move and adjust your plans whenever you need to if something comes up, which is even more important if you live in a van. So I think honestly what I'm gonna do is work out a plan for where I'm gonna be for the next two or three months and then figure out a plan for set dates that I wanna be in certain areas and then plan things around those certain areas that I can do to give myself a little bit more time and make my life feel just a little bit more structured. Because I'm gonna be honest, right now it is extremely chaotic and it's just not sustainable and I would really like to change that. This burger is so good. I think McDonald's like changed the recipe or something because I haven't eaten there in a while and this tastes way better than I remember McDonald's tasting. I don't know, maybe I just haven't had it in a while. Not gonna lie, I inhaled that burger. I ate way too fast. I always do when I'm super hungry, but now I'm stuffed. So I'm definitely not gonna be able to finish these uh, chicken nuggets. So I got lunch tomorrow. Wonderful. <laughs> this thing has been such a pain. It always falls out. I don't know how to get it to stay. I might just glue it in, honestly. Cause like right now it just pops in on the side right here. It's like you pop that side in. Then you take this side and it just kind of clicks in like that. And then this is like the like retention bar to keep stuff held in the shelf right here. But it always comes out. It's so annoying. All right, so immediately after I turned off the camera, I grabbed the chicken nuggets out of the fridge and started eating them and I was gonna eat them off camera. And I don't know why I was trying to lie to you guys and make you think I wasn't eating these chicken nuggets tonight, but I 100% am at least eating one carton and I got no shame. They are delicious. So typically when I get to a truck stop like this, I don't like to leave the van at all and I try to stay in as much as I can to try to avoid bringing any unnecessary attention to the fact that someone's living back here just because sometimes some sketchy people hang out at these truck stops. So I don't want anyone to know I'm living back here if I can help it. So I think for the rest of the night, I'm just going to hang out in the back of the van. All right, boys, let's get some doves. Oh my God, I melted that kid. Oh my gosh, she's so low. Oh my God, I just broke that kid's neck. All right, sadly I didn't get a single dub on Apex, so that kind of sucks, but it's whatever. But I'll show you guys outside. So this is like the front area. I don't know how much you guys are gonna be able to see, but it gets super creepy at these truck stops at night, which is why I try to stay inside, keep my curtains closed so nobody can see in and just try not to make as much noise as I can. So no one knows I'm in here, but anyways, I think I'm gonna go to bed. I got a long day tomorrow, so I will catch you guys next time.